Hello Virgo, welcome to your The Pet reading. This is a general reading for September 2022. Although this is a general reading, Virgo, I I tend I I, I think that this reading is about love. Okay? But you know, I'm not much of a introduction kind of gal, so just let's jump right into the cards. So I see here that there is loss. You broke some mirrors here, Virgo, or you will break some mirrors. This caused, so, you know, mirrors in this deck, which is the Tarot Interdit Vampiria, uh, mirrors are cups, so th these are feelings, okay? So I see here that, you know, what happens when you break a mirror, right? You are holding a lot of things in your hands, right? And you drop it. Uh, or, or you're too nervous to, to grip things correctly and you drop it. Or in, in uh, um, some aggressive uh, action, you just throw things and you break the mirror, right? Which movie doesn't have a scene where somebody is angry, grab a vase or a statue and throws it in the mirror? Right? So there is some anger or, or some clumsiness, some, um, some lack of control that makes you break these mirrors. And then there is an offer that is not being accepted or will not be accepted or was, I, I don't know, right? I, I'm, I'm reading for September, but sometimes, you know, time is a little bit far during or a little bit far away. So this offer was not accepted or, or, was, or was not seen at all because, you know, these mirrors, they are all facing different sides. So it meaning that energy is scattered. So all over the place. So of course, someone look at this offer, and and, and it, it it was a complete mess, a complete mess. So of course, someone here didn't accept this offer because it it was a mess. And this, the consequence was this aggressive communication very very aggressive you see this 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 card is all red and and this this sword has um a red color right because you you don't know if this is a reflex of the or, or of the sun of or if this is blood in the sword right very very aggressive <laughs> and then there is a prison. So this caused a mental prison. Overthinking, not knowing what to do because there are so many things in one person's mind creating this prison. The consequence is that finally someone, or you, or someone else, finally gets to the point of controlling these emotions, controlling these scattered thoughts and this scattered energy. And this person busts up, the emperor. This person finally gets to the state of mind of controlling their emotions and communicating. in the right way. And then, when this passion is finally controlled, is um, 
channeled. There is a very stable and long-lasting offer. Still, as there was all this confusion over here, we still see some conflict, some confusion, some different opinions. It is still necessary to try to control this energy, to work the magic. It is necessary to see things from a different perspective, to put yourself in the other person's shoes or vice versa in order to understand what this person is thinking, what this person is feeling. Then there is the balance, there is justice, there is the understanding that it is a balance of give and take, it is a balance of emotions, it is a balance of communication. And then finally, someone here finds that in these mirrors, they're, they're not broken anymore. They have finally a reflection and they are roses. They are white roses. Peace. Because you are seeing yourself and seeing the other person. Because actually, this mirror takes you to another dimension when you both met in another life. And finally, after all this struggle, you can see yourselves in each other's eyes. You put down the burdens. There is a passionate new beginning. There is victory. And you know, Virgo, this reading is 15 cards, 15 jumpers. But sometimes, you know, when I, I'm trying to get the last jumper, it comes together with another card. If they are more than two, I never get it. But if they are two, more than once, and the same card comes, I have to take it. So you see this, you put down this burden. There is a passionate new beginning. There is victory. And there is the Ten of Cups. Absolute emotional fulfillment. The happily ever after card. Bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy, we have the moon. Hidden feelings, secrets. But as you can see, as this is a vampire, <laughs> tarot deck something is coming from beyond the grave here these feelings are coming from beyond the grave and you know don't be afraid of the cards because these feelings they are coming from another life they can be very very scary Virgo in fact, you can see here, when you found this love, you dropped everything, you broke it. You didn't have the, the, the emotional balance, not even to fathom that finally you were meeting this person again. And you went through a lot until you understood how to get your shit together channel your passion, make a correct offer, go through the conflict, manipulate your energies, put yourself in another person's shoes, have 
having another perspective on the situation, balancing yourself and the other person, and finally, finally, understanding that you are meant to be together, putting down the burdens, having a passionate new beginning, victory, and happily ever after. With this overall energy here, Feelings from beyond the grave, from another life. <laughs> you know, I would try to clarify some cards here, but I really don't need to, to do so. So, as I cannot clarify anything because for me this is so so clear I will instead uh, grab here the romance angel oracle cards and let's just see one additional message here for you okay but this is an amazing amazing reading Virgo it's incredible here sorry I have a little bit of OCD I just cannot see this happening bear with me please <laughs> so one love message for Virgo completing the message of the tarot and the pet reading and giving some advice for September. Whoa, Virgo, everything for you now, it's coming exaggerate. So, <laughs> I cannot make this up. I know that a lot of tarot readers say that a lot on YouTube, but see this past life relationship. You have known each other before. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Sorry, let's do this. A new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, of course, Virgo, you met this new person that we are understanding that is a past life relationship. And after everything that is going on here, you will need to retreat the both of you will need to take some time to yourselves in order to balance, to align, to reminisce this past life that you had together, know yourselves in this life and finally crown your love and be together in this life also. Okay? Well, Virgo, this is what I have for you. For the month of September, it wasn't at all uh, targeted to love. This is a gen general reading, but this is what I see in your path. So there it goes. <laughs> Virgo, as always, thank you very much for sharing your time with me. Have a wonderful month of September. Happy birthday and take care out there and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.